Damn, Kyle, you going off? What's good, Josh? We came back with a YouTube video, and today we're gonna be checking out this video, man. It's titled "Americans Living Abroad: First Time You Realize America Really Messed You Up." Part two. I don't know what's up with me finding part twos the videos instead of part one, but if you guys want me to check out part one, just let me know in the comment section below. But um, how did America really mess you up after you left America, man? Um, let's find out. I'm sure it's going to be something about uh, health care, uh, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head, man. So uh, let's get right into this video. One time that made you realize that America really messed you up. It's not current, but when I was studying in the UK, one day I really needed to see a doctor. But I didn't know how to access care. I didn't know what my insurance situation was like, so I just went to work. And eventually I was in so much pain that I burst into tears and my boss pulled me aside. And he was like, What's up? And I was like, I really need to see a doctor, but I, I don't know how to access care here. I don't know if I can afford it. And he was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Go down the street to the hospital. And I argued with him. And he was like, no, just trust me. Just go to the hospital. So I went and I was like clutching my like student ID in my hand, my passport. And I was like trying to remember how much I had in my bank account, like checking. And I got called back to the doctor. He was like, yep, this is what's wrong with you. Pick up your prescription on the way out. And I was like, I'm sorry, do you know how much it's going to be? And he said, I don't know, maybe eight pounds. I was like, I'm sorry, eight? He was like, yeah, I don't think it's ever more than that. Uh, the receptionist kept laughing at me because I didn't feel comfortable leaving without paying somebody and I kept asking and asking if I owed anybody any money. If you're an American currently living Ooh. abroad, what is one time that made you realize- I am back for round two on this one. So I just moved to Italy with my boyfriend who is Italian. We're watching a movie the other day where somebody is running away and they get shot. <clears throat> And I'm like, you know what? That's their fault. They didn't run in a zigzag. That's like the first thing they teach you to run in a zigzag if somebody's pointing a gun at you. <laughs> yeah. He pauses the movie and he looks at me and he goes, Oh no. Who taught you that? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, like teachers, adults, parents, like they teach you when you're young to run in a zigzag if somebody is pointing a gun at you. Yeah. The sinking feeling I had when I realized that nobody ever had to teach him that when he was young, because that's not a problem here. Dang. Dang. And currently Dang. living abroad, what is one time that made you realize Dang. that America really- I didn't even think about that, bro. I thought he was gonna say, I thought he was gonna give like some uh, logical answer. Like you can't run in the zigzag because he'll just do the gun. Like I, I just thought he was gonna say that, but she said they don't have that problem. So they didn't learn that. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I've got a couple. So I'm from Los Angeles and now I live in Austria. And basically when I first started working here, they were like, you get 25 days vacation, Friday's off early. And if you're sick, don't come into work. And I was just like, I was floored. Because in the US, you only get 10 days vacation and like five sick days and you don't get Friday's off early. You better work your ass until it's 9 p.m. Ooh. On 9 top of all, that, all my friends here are like- 9 p.m. is amazing. You mean my in the a.m.? You mean like soon as it, all right, I need to go. Two PhDs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because education here is actually free. Amazing. What an amazing concept. In addition, I have yet to see a large homeless community out in the open here in Austria because the government actually wow. offers some social support. Dang. A lot of social support. In LA, you have villages, streets, blocks full of homeless people because our government doesn't care about us. And here, people like don't measure their worth off the car they drive. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? Bro, I Seven actually Atlanta. seen a TikTok. It is just, and it was this dude recording a a dude, a homeless man, but he built a house out of like scraps, out of bikes, cardboard, trash, and he like built a home. It was like a fortress on like a hill. And it was like insane how you built that all from like trash bro singapore and before coming here i asked all my friends if i should bring anything to the highway. like you know a pepper spray just in case anything happens and they were like no that's like actually illegal i don't think that they're allowed to have any kind of weapon and i was like what we literally put them in our keychains as accessories i was yep. like how do you defend yourself they were like from what you don't have to it's so safe i was like no way so i googled it and no one is allowed to use greater force than necessary to defend themselves. What? The U.S. can't Whoa. ban guns, but Singapore can ban pepper sprays? What the freak? Abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? No, no. When I had my first child, we were stationed overseas in Germany, 
And at that point, I'd been a nurse for about five years and I had a C-section. So day three, after I delivered, I was packing up my stuff and getting the baby ready to go home. And the German nurse walked in and looked at me and said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm packing to go home. And she said, nein, get up you're out not of going there. home. You just had major surgery. We have physical therapy coming to see you. And dinner is on its way up. And if you'd like, I can call down and have them bring up some beer. But you need to rest. And I thought, yeah, I did have major surgery. I do need to rest. And they kept me for another week until I was ready to go home and I could take care of everything on my own. If you're an American currently living hey. abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? I'll go first. I live in Warsaw, Poland now, but I always stay in touch with what's happening in the U.S. And I happened to hear about that Las Vegas shooting when someone opened fire on a bunch of concert goers. And it was very tragic news. But that day, I also went to the movies. So I was already in a kind of weird mental state. Yeah. And when I left the movies, I got on the tram again in Warsaw, and I saw this guy kind of being sketchy and acting weird in the last seat. Mm. I, like, I kept eyeing him the whole time, and he had his jacket open, and he was holding something inside. He was hiding it. No, and I sir. thought, my first American thought was, it's a gun or a knife or some kind of weapon, and I need to move away as soon as yeah. possible. So I kept looking at him the whole ride, and then he takes it out, and it was a beer can. He was sipping it and hiding it during the tram ride. That's what happens in Poland. Not guns, not knives and i started crying and laughing at the same time because that's when i realized wow that's messed up that's crazy bro if you're an american currently living abroad what is one time that made you realize that america really so i can make like 200 of these but i'll just talk about the first time that's i realized honey. how fucked up the u.s is which was in the first week that i got to sweden um when my boyfriend's family told me that i need to make sure i get insured um, and that I get insurance for everything I own, my laptop, my bike, my yeah. apartment, my whole body. Right. Um, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's so expensive. Like, I'm already, I'm already super Sounds in debt expensive. with student loans, so no. But I asked out of curiosity just, like, how much it was going to cost. Um, $100 a year to insure everything I have. For reference, like, the average American person spends $456 a month just on health insurance. Just, just for healthcare, that doesn't include cars, or house, home insurance. No. I am currently living abroad. What is one time? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? A hundred for everything for the year? Did you realize that America really messed you up? No, this ain't fair, bro. This is not fair, bro. What the freak? So I live in Paris, and two months ago I got hit by a taxi, relatively oh, hard. Dang. I fell down on the street, all these people came, and they picked me up, they brought me over to a bench, this woman came from a restaurant, brought me a glass of water, another woman gave me a handful of coins, and I was like, I don't need your money, it's okay, and she was like, sweetheart, this is your money, it fell out of your pockets when you got hit by the taxi. Dang. And I was like, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog vibes, great. I, was just like, I, I didn't want to say it, but she, since she said it, knock the coins out of her. Like, it's not like Sonic. The man who hits me goes to call the ambulance, and I said, stop. Don't Do not call the ambulance. Call that will cost me 3000 to $5,000, because that's what an ambulance costs in America. Yep. And he was like, what are you talking about? An ambulance is seven euros. You better throw me in the back seat, buddy. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Seven euros. Am I going to twist my ankle all the way home from the club, and they'll give me an IV so I won't be hungover the next day? <laughs> Catch me at the hospital. This wow. is lit. Wow. That's crazy. If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really... So my first year here in Paris, um, I was an au pair, and I got really sick during the winter. Um, it was bronchitis, and I couldn't breathe. I was coughing a lot. Um, I was trying to avoid going to the emergency room as much as possible because in the U.S. it's very, very expensive, but there was one night where I really couldn't hold out any longer, so I drove to the emergency room, and when I was there, they gave me a nebulizer, um, mm -hmm. and then they wanted to give me chest x-rays, and I was like, listen, can we please not do the chest x-rays? Just, I'm fine, let's just go, yep. and the doctor looked at me, and she was like, why don't you want to do these? You have to do them. You could have damage, and I said, well, I don't, I don't have any money. I'm not going to be able to afford it, and she looked at me, and she was like, it's covered with social security. 
So I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then instead of having to book a whole another appointment and wait forever for the, um, the results, we walked down the hall, we took the chest x-rays, I had the results in five minutes, I paid 12 euros, and then I was reimbursed three days later. American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? So I started my new job in the Netherlands. <clears throat> this was three years ago, and I was going through the company policy the first week. And I got to the section about leave, and they have a holiday leave, like PTO, and then they had sick leave in two different areas. And I was reading about sick leave, and I turned to my coworker, and I was like, I don't understand, like, it talks about, like, the requirements for sick leave and, like, doctor notes, like, after three days, but how many sick days do we get a year? And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, how many, how many are there? It doesn't say. She's like, it's just, if you're sick, you're out. I'm like, I don't understand. She's like, it's unlimited. It's just, if you're sick, you take a sick day. She was confused. I was shocked. The moment I realized we're fucked up in America and how we deal with people being sick with work. If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really... Yeah, so this one hit me pretty hard. It was one of the first dates I ever had in Germany with my boyfriend. This is crazy, And bro. he wanted to take me on a nature walk. Well, it was a beautiful day and we went on this beautiful trail, but it ended out leading up to somebody's field, like a farmer's field. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely wanted nothing to do with that. I said, nope, that's it, we're going home, I'm not doing that, and he kind of was persistent and saying, like, why? And I was like, are you crazy? Yeah, They're gonna shoot me. us. I was pretty new to Germany, yeah. um, so I didn't really understand how things I'm worked. Yet. But I did grow up in rural western New York, where if you trespass on somebody's property, their woods or their field, there's a good chance that you'd be shot and killed. My next door neighbors would get blackout drunk and then start shooting off their back porch into the random wilderness wow. and he stopped me and said nobody shoots trespassers here why would they do that even if they're trespassing like that's so over dramatic and it hit me how normalized that was for me growing up that i could potentially die going for a walk american currently living abroad what is one time that made you realize that america really messed you up here's a fun y'all these are some crazy stories bro i'm really like so i'm teaching third grade in thailand right and it's sports day kids running around screaming having fun as kids do and I hear a bang. Instantly, my heart drops into my stomach. Yep. My entire body tenses. My adrenaline starts pumping. And I'm looking around for the shooter. Mm -hmm. And then I realize I'm in Thailand. And people don't have guns. And they don't shoot children at their school. It was a balloon. A balloon popped. <gasps> Fuck you, America. American Whoa. currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? So I grew up in southern Indiana and I moved to London, England. So I just moved to England and you know I made a lot of new friends. So I go to a party, which was this was like three years ago. And let's say one of my friends got really he drank too much water. And you know, all my friends were taking care of him, including myself, and all of a sudden one of them goes, Hey, we gotta call an ambulance. And I was like, no, dude, like, do you know how much money that costs? Like, he just drank too much water. He's going to be fine. And right when I said that, everyone looked at me and said, mate, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, dude, the ambulance is going to cost like $3,000. Yeah. And that was the moment I realized that England had free health care. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? Bro, these, these stories are in freaking same. Most of them are like health care and not getting shot. Two crazy combinations, but, you know, it, it's insane, actually. So I've been living in Spain for about 11 years, and this happened, like, 11 years ago. Um, it was my first time going to the emergency room, and, when you know, stomach problems, whatever, couldn't stop throwing up. And I go in, give the girl at the front desk my ID and my debit card. And she takes my ID, checks me in, hands both cards back to me, and I was like, oh, well, maybe I give the debit card I pay at the end. So I go in, everything, give me medicine, and I go back out. I stop at the front desk again, and I was like, hi, I'm leaving. Um, here's my debit card. And she just looks at me, and she's like, I don't know why you keep giving this to me. You you don't need to give me your debit card. <laughs> you, I, I don't get it. And I'm like, oh. So a customer just paying. You don't paying. have to pay yeah. for health services, yeah. even in a private hospital. Mm. Hmm. Tell me you've been single a long time without telling me you've been single. I think single. That's, he did the same thing he did last video. But bro, this is kind of crazy, bro. You know, I knew, I was like, this video probably going to be something about healthcare, but I did not think about the, the shootings, bro.
That's crazy. This girl said she was in the, the subway, boy. I see if I see somebody in they in, in the subway arm like this, arm in their jacket like these, I'm gone. And he pulled out a what what she said? Beer? He pulled out beer because he was sneaking some drink. I'm gonna be pretty sick, bro. I'm gonna be like, dang, bro, what's what's wrong with me, bro? I'm like, what's wrong with me? So par I'm so paranoid. Um, but yeah, man, this is kind of crazy. Um, like I said, if you guys want to check out part one, this is part two. If y'all don't see it at the top, bro. This is part two. Um, if you guys want me to check out part one, just let me know in the comment section below. Or anything else you want to check out, just comment down below right now. But you have to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.